Hey everybody. So uh I got some icky news. So I um uh I'm not playing I'm not at home tonight for fun reasons or anything. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened, but I'm having like a I have to limp with this me right here. I don't know what happened, how it happened. Um I just woke up yesterday and I was getting ready to go get ready to cook something for um dinner for tomorrow night. And I was just limping. Limping back and forth to the restroom, limping to the refrigerator. It's really sore. It's hard to put a lot of weight on it. I can't raise it right here. Like I know what they're gonna do when I because I'm gonna go to urgent care later, which I don't wanna do. But I was going to do a video appointment, but either way, I'm going to have to go to the Kaiser because um, I got to pick up my prescriptions and they're going to want to x-ray anyway if I go, whether I do it on the video or not. So I'm just like, I might as well just do it while I go get my pills tomorrow. And I'm just concerned a little bit because, yeah, I've never really had to like limp on it, but um. I don't know how it happened. I didn't fall or anything. Um, but I put CBD. I put some other kind of ointment on it. And um, it, um, it worked a little bit. But when I got up to the restroom again, it's, it was still hurting a little bit. It had fixed it a little but It didn't make it completely go away. But I took an 800 ibuprofen. And I took meloxicam. Um, none of those really did anything. Um, I have an ice bottle that I have frozen water bottle in there right now. I'm going to do when I get I'm done. I'm out here because I have some coffee. Making something for later, and um, I'm about to do my taxes real quick because I got my um, got all my paperwork, got my paperwork together, and I got my stuff from Fidelity and everything. So I'm good. Um, I'm about to do those real quick because um, I heard people are getting their stuff back quick, and I don't have. To, I thought I was gonna have to wait, but um, not do it now because I have everything I personally need. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm a little concerned, um, but I'm hoping that my main thing is I want to see if I, uh, cause they'll probably recommend me to go to ortho again. So, um, that's part of why I'm kind of like, if I should do a video appointment because instead, because, um, I think it's cheaper, but. Not only that, but they're going to make me see, do an x-ray. So, either way, so I'm going to have to go to the building. But, I'm just like, I don't know. I'm trying to think about it. Because, just dealing with them the last time, it wasn't this type of issue. It was more like a chronic pain issue. So, I understand kind of them being like, you know, it could be this, that. or But, this is like... I fell. I don't know if I... I didn't fall. That's the thing. I didn't fall. Because they're, they're going to be like, well, did you fall on it? Or, and I'm going to be like, no. That's why I'm scared because it's not going away. And it's just like a soreness. It feels like, to me, it kind of compared to when you have a sprained ankle. And you're just kind of like... So... I mean, I hope they don't put me on crutches or nothing. I don't think so. Because I've seen people walking the way I was limping. And i seen they have like a thing on their knee. Like a kind of temporary brace thing not the kind they gave me when i had my surgery but like a different one that you could wear every day like a daily support knee brace um if they can recommend me one or whatever whatever you do for that i never have experienced it but um yeah it's it's really strange i don't understand i've been like wanted to go to work tonight because i need the money and i just was like, um, I was just gonna go, but I was just limping still, and I was just like, 
I'm not gonna be able to stay the whole shift if I go. And then I'm gonna be more in that pickle because it's gonna be like a di a middle of the night. It's gonna be more to come on the way back over here. So I'm just like, <laughs> um, but I don't know, you guys. It's like I'm already dealing with something else that's going on with it with like a issue, and I don't understand. Where this just came from because unless it happened unless i sleep with sleepwalking or something i don't i never fell or anything only thing it could have been was when i was getting up and i put weight on a lot of weight on it and on like you know how you get off and you're you know how you're on your knees right and you get up or something like that that's the only thing i can think that happened and i wasn't paying attention and it did that but I'm going to see how it is a little later. I can't foresee it getting better, but either way, I do have to pick up my pills because, dude, you guys, okay, I understand what those type of pills, it's not good to not take, if you go, if you miss like a dose or two, yeah, you start getting headaches and just, just fugly symptoms, I'll say, irritable and stuff. Um, and so that's why I didn't do the mail order. I did it where I picked those up, and they've been texting me and calling me to pick them up, and I just, I'm going to go tomorrow and get them, um, because I had some backup pills, because, um, you know how when they increase the dose, or they change the dose or something, um, you still have the pills from another prescription, right, left over, so I was able to get by these past few days and I had enough until to for tomorrow night. And then I'm gonna be like out of them. So I could go Monday if I wanted to. But I have an appointment Monday, actually, a video appointment. So I'm like <laughs> I'm like, um but so um if this knee issue had happened, I would just go Monday. But yeah, I need to get it looked at. It could be something serious. Um, the only good news is that it's not... I am able to kind of lift it, but it hurts. Because I know that's the first thing they ask. The first thing the ortho asks. The first thing those doctors ask. Oh, can you lift... Let me see you lift it. You know? It's really stiff and painful when I even do that. It hurts to do it. But I could do it. It's not too bad. Like, it's like, oh. But, um... Yeah, just over my knee. But, um, so, um, I forget what I was going to say. Oh, the pills. Yeah, so I've been taking, I forget the word, you guys, but you know how when you, uh, take less of your dose than you're supposed to? Because you're trying to ration it or whatever. I needed to stretch, because I was supposed to stretch them out until I could get to the pharmacy, because... Um, like I said, I didn't want to mail order those pills because the last time I did, and they lag on it. It takes forever. Like, like usually when you do their mail, their little mail order pharmacy thing, they get there pretty quick. Like you forget you even you just open the mailbox and they're right there. But for some reason, when I order these ones, there's always some issue with like, um, I don't know. There's always some issue, and then they're like. Not an issue, like, it's fine, like, it goes through the insurance, everything. But there's always some issue where it makes it take longer for them to mail them and stuff. And I'm like, just, you know what, so I'm going to, I was like, just take them to the pharmacy and I can pick them up, right? So I was going to go after work Friday morning. And I even left work early, too, because, like, an hour early. But um, I was like, yeah, let me leave early so that I can come back tonight you know, be rested enough to come out tonight and everything. Everything was already planned out. And then, then on the way there, I was like, you know, I still have about three or four days left of pills I can use, but it's less than my dose. If I want to stretch it out so many days, I have to take less of my dose every day to make it work. So I've been doing that. And unfortunately, the side effect is like, you can get nightmares and stuff. And I've been having some weird, vivid nightmares um, and even I was on Reddit, the forum for that, and it's just like, yeah, it's like if you skip a dose or whatever, and I didn't even skip a dose, but I took a little less than I was supposed to, it took like 
maybe 50, 25 to 50 milligrams less than I was supposed to between these two days. Um, last night I took just 25 less. So, um, I was feeling fine. I haven't had any headaches. I did feel a little nauseous. I know that is another side effect of not taking the full dose. I feel a little just queasy earlier, but I'm just like, um, yeah, the nightmare are weird. And I'm just like, what if I thought I was getting chased and I fell running to the house? I, but I've never had anyone tell me I sleepwalk, so I don't think it's that. <laughs> I think it just happened. I think I was trying to get up on this knee and I put all my weight on it. And it just made it, you know, I don't know. I don't know. How, otherwise, I don't know. That's the only reason I'm going is because it's unexplained. Like, I don't know what's going on with it. Like, I don't know what caused it. If I could say, well, I fell, then it would be easy. I could uh, explain why. But I would already know not to land on my knee. I would just know to kind of maneuver just because of over the years, just knowing what, how they kind of told me what to do and all that. So I'm like, I think it just happened like that. I don't know. But I was like, with these weird AZZ nightmares I've been having, just weird stuff. I don't want to get too specific, but they involve people like in my rare, my real life. And I'm just like, I was in one, I was like, I saw the person and I was arguing with them again because we we had had our beef or before. It's like not the beef. There's no beef, beef, like well, on site type thing. But, <laughs> but it's like, it's like, there's no love. It's like, it's, they, they don't care for me anymore. I don't care for them kind of deal. But unfortunately, they're connected through marriage so I gotta deal with them but we were arguing and I was saying something and I was like you know this and that and it was something that I always said I would never say or whatever but I said it and I kept saying it and then I woke up and I was just like what the <laughs> and it was so vivid you guys it was like that person was right there and I was like oh my god and I woke up and then there was another weird dream before that it was that one was scary it was like I was getting like I don't know what was going on. I think somebody owed me money or something. <laughs> it was weird. But I've been watching all these like long, long court YouTube, you know, the video where they show the trials and stuff. And just these like freaking American justice and stuff. And, you know, just those crime. Like, I haven't been watching them, but I've been kind of watching a little bit of them. Like, and I've been watching the, the lawyer one where they talk, they kind of give commentary. It's kind of like court TV, but on YouTube. Uh, so maybe it's related with that. I don't know. I was like, um, <laughs> we were arguing, and I don't know if they ever give my money or not. Like, <laughs> it was so weird. <laughs> so I don't know. These are. I'm telling you guys, I wasn't having. When you're on this medication, you kind of know the difference because you know. Okay, I haven't been having dreams like that in a minute because that only happens usually when you start like taking them. Um, like, I don't know what it is. If you go on the Reddit for Pristique, like, you can see it. All the people complaining about it. If they miss their dose or they just, like, don't, if they're tapering off or I don't know. They said, yeah, you, you get these weird nightmares. And it's just, like, because it wasn't, like, it wasn't a typical dream. It was, like, beefing. It's, like, like come on. You know, it's so uncharacteristic of me. Like, that's not, how I would, that's not how I roll. So, I was, like, this is the nightmare. You know, <laughs> but by that second one with the person involved, you know, the person, it, I knew it wasn't real, but in, when it was happening, when I was sleeping, it was real it was happening. It's like, oh my God. Like, and so I don't know. It's weird, but yeah, it's just because, yeah, I haven't been taking my full dues of it. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, it was either sleep, get rest, or go deal with Kaiser after work on Friday morning. And that one, I remember, I was like, why am I going on Friday morning? That is when that place is a zoo up in there. It's like straight up County USC pharmacy. <laughs> and if you've 